Hello guys, in this video we are going to see the D flip flop IC CD4013. So let's get started. First we will see the pin diagram of the IC. Pin 7 it is ground pin and pin 14 it is VCC. We can use from plus 3 volt to plus 16 volt. I already explained D flip flop using NAND gate link in the description below. In that video I have explained the D flip flop and it has 4 pins that is clock, data that is D, Q and Q bar as output. But in this it has 6 pin that is reset and set. These are another two pins. And this IC has two D flip flop. One D flip flop has this six pin and another with this six pin. This is the Q of first flip flop. Then it is Q bar, clock, reset, data and set. As it is for first flip flop, so we have to write one, 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 one. And for this flip flop, it is set, set to, data to, reset to, clock, Q bar to, and Q. Now we will see the truth table for D flip flop without this two pin and with this two pin. Without this two pin, we have two input and two output. And with reset and set, we have 4 input and 2 output, total 6. Clock and data, Q, Q bar. Now in this, when clock is 0, then it doesn't matter whether D is 0 or 1, it will be memory. That is the previous state. Now clock is 1. If D is 0, then Q will be 0 and Q bar will be 1 and if D is 1 then Q will be 1 and Q bar will be 0. So this is the D flip flop without set and reset. Now we will see the set reset. That is the IC. The 4 input will be clock, set, reset and D. And 2 output will be Q and Q bar. When clock is from 0 to 1 that is 0 to 1 and other 3 is 0 then we will get Q as 0 and Q bar as 1 because D is 0 so Q bar will be 1 as we are getting this. This is same as this one. When clock is 0 to 1 S 0 R 0 and if it is 1 then obviously it will be 1 and it will be 0. Again it is same as this one. Now as we have seen the first one that is clock is 0 that is if it is 1 to 0 set 0 reset 0 then it doesn't matter whether it is 1 or 0 it will be memory that is the previous state. Now if we keep set or reset that is any one of these is 1 then it doesn't matter whether clock is 0 or 1. If set is 1 then obviously reset will be 0. Then D also doesn't matter whether it is 1 or 0. If set is 1 then Q will be 1. Q bar will be 0. Again set is 0 and reset is 1. Again, it is doesn't matter whether D is 1 or 0, Q bar will be 1. If set and reset 1, then it doesn't matter whether D is 1 or 0, both will be 1. But this thing is theoretically not possible, but practically possible. Q and Q bar is complement to each other, but here practically we are getting this. So finally we can say that, 
when set and reset is zero then only clock and data will work okay so this is the thing we have to see in practical here is our ic two outputs with the output i'm connecting led it is q q bar so it will be pin 1 and pin 2 and four inputs are first input is our clock so clock pin it is pin 3 then set set is pin 6 then reset reset is pin 4 and data pin it is pin 5 with all of this input we have to connect pull down resistor I already uploaded a video on this link in the description below it is very important to know why should we connect pull down resistor with input so I'm connecting pull down resistor with it and the value is 10 kilo ohms this is input switch it is clock set reset data and other pin of the switch is connected with plus 5 volt I will connect VCC to the plus 5 volt and here it is ground and after the switch I will also connect an LED so that whenever the switch is turned on this LED will glow up with a series resistor of 220 ohms so this is it now we will see this in practical 4013 clock set reset data one pin of the switch is connected to plus 5 volt and with the other pin we have to connect LEDs the positive pin of the LED is connected with the switch also the 220 ohms resistor and these are connected to the ground pin 7 is connected to the ground and pin 14 is connected to the plus 5 volt as the pin 3, 4, 5 and 6 are the input so we have to connect pull down resistor with it putting the output LEDs here it is Q Q bar also the series resistor pin 1 is Q and pin number 2 and it is Q bar this switch it is clock and clock is pin 3 then we have set set is pin 6 then we have reset reset is pin 4 then we have data data is pin 5 so this is how we have connected now we have to connect both the positive and negative rails here it is positive and negative now see this all these four input are zero four inputs are zero so that q is zero and q bar is one now if d is one and clock is changed from zero to one then q will be one d one clock zero to one we are getting q s one if clock one to zero then it doesn't matter whether d is one or zero it will be memory so now if i keep the clock as 0 it will not change so it means it is memory so this is how these three conditions are working now for these three it doesn't matter whether clock and d is 0 or 1 it only controls by set and reset if set is 1 q will be 1 and reset is 1 q bar will be 1 this is set reset set is 1 q is 1 reset is 1 q bar is 1 now if both are 1 the q and q bar is 1 so this is the basic thing of ic cd4013 the d flip flop so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching